Hello everybody, it's Paul from Robots with Coffee and I want to talk about my comics haul. It's been quite a while. Uh, so I'm just going to quickly share stuff. Uh, this is Robots with Coffee number two. It's not on the website yet. Um, if you go to Alley Cat in Chicago, you can see a copy there. I'll have it at TFCon in Baltimore, provided that's still going on in October. So I want to share, it's $3. It's just more strips. I also still have copies of You Can Do Stupid Things for five bucks, and that's all the strips about uh, Trump bot. So, you know, pick it up if you get a chance. And it's on the website. So let me quickly talk, or not quickly talk, about comics I've picked up in the last couple weeks. I was in San Francisco at a used bookstore, and I found the first uh, publishers, the reprints they did of the Turtles books in color. Um, there's only like three issues in the, in, in, the, in the books. It's, it's kind of a, uh, it's interesting in that they're in color. Uh, if you know anything about the turtles, they have, a, they have a process called duo shade, or they use paper called duo shade, which is kind of like a liquid, uh, like liquid paper, like um, not liquid paper, but like, uh, like, like a liquid, uh, you use liquids to uncover um, patterns underneath or on the paper and so that gives you a, a couple options for shading and it looks like this or if you can see how the shading is in there otherwise you have to remove that or they had to get uh, different versions of the artwork without it stuff they probably copied or uh, prior or before or after doing the duo shade and so um, yeah this reprints basically I think books one through four, they only have books two, three, and four, but it reprints up to issue 11, I think, um, and not including all the uh, mini series. Well, the Leonardo series is in there, and that's a great issue. Um, those were at a used bookstore in San Francisco. I thought I'd pick them up so I can look at them. Uh, this is a series called Death's Head from Marvel Comics, and it's, the art is by Kizama. And the covers are by Nick Roche, two Transformers artists, and they were really cheap. I found them, so I thought I would pick them up. Derek Robertson of The Boys fame and some other comics from the 90s and, and the aughts, you know, went back and forth, did a lot of Marvel and independent stuff, uh, Transmetropolitan being a big one. So he, this is him doing Legends of the Dark Knight, a new series that came out this year. I think it... Uh, debuted online first. This is the first three issues. So I picked them up. This is from Ad House Books. It's called Cover Not Final, I think. Crime Funnies. Ad House Books just uh, announced they're closing their doors. Um, so this is kind of a sad uh, source of uh, independent, small, you know, one-shot books. This is a series called Not All Robots. It just came out, and Mike Diodato Jr. is the artist. I don't know anything about the series yet. Um, I noticed that uh, looking at some of the artwork, there there are uh, screen tones, zip tones uh, worked into the art uh, before they color it. And usually you don't do that if you're coloring it, or most, most few color comics incorporate stuff like that. Uh, I know Diodato from working on Spider-Man uh, back in the day. Um, I don't know anything else about the book, but I'm going to give it a shot. This is called uh, Hero Trade Passive Aggressive. Let me make sure I get the title there. But the art is by David Lapham, which is why I got it. I don't know anything about Bad Idea comics outside of um, they have some bad ideas in publications, and so these books aren't always available everywhere. It's kind of frustrating. So um, thankfully, I didn't even know this came out. I'm a friend uh, at the at comic store was able to hold a copy for me or, or you know pre-order it for me so thank you um dark horse comics this is a series called savage hearts aubrey sitterton is the citizen excuse me is the uh, writer and i don't know if i'm gonna stick around for this one um i thought i would check it out number one this is from colin bunn colin bunn excuse me this is lucky devil and also from dark horse and number one We'll see how it goes. This is a series I ordered. It's called Shadecraft, and right now they're at issue five. I have not picked up my comics in months. Um, so hooray for me. 
and that's like a good hefty uh, reading to catch up on. Like it, maybe it's a story arc or most of a story arc. This is a series I did like. I bought the first six issues. I really enjoyed it. It's called Ink Blot. Um, and Emma Kubert is the artist. I don't know if she's related to Joe, the late Joe Kubert or his sons, but uh, I'll, I'll look it up later. But it's cool, and I enjoy it. So here's issues up to 7 through 11. So I have to do some catching up to do. And then I guess finally, we have this series here, and that's Beast of Burden. And so um, I was waiting for to read this because I picked up one a few months ago, but here's two, three, and four, and uh, Evan Dorkin and his wife, Sarah Dyer, uh, write it, and then, then the alternate artists here, uh, Benjamin Dewey is the artist. I think Evan and his wife did a cover or two, but Jill Thompson did a cover. Um, she was the original artist on this. So anyway, there you go. That's That's what's recent. Um, oh, another book I got was this collection of Pearls Before Swine. It was $2 in San Francisco. I thought this would be fun to read. Um, they also use a screen tone or a zip a tone. Um, so that'll be interesting to kind of check out and see how he does it. It's just something that I'm interested in lately. And I could show you some of the other books that I bought just to kind of look at and study, study these things. So there you go. Anyway, those are the comics I picked up, and we're under seven minutes. I'm going to leave you there. Robotswithcoffee.com. Thanks for checking it out. I'll talk to you later.